All right, guys, we're back. We're back. And I want to just share some a couple of tips I picked up in the book of Power and Intention by uh, Wayne Dyer. And uh, I'm the chapter where uh, basically your intention is to have abundance and um, gratitude for everything. Right. Um, so uh, in order to, you know, bring abundance in your life, he says you first have to first and foremost, uh, it's be grateful. Right. Gratitude, which obviously I've heard a lot of times in other um, uh obviously creators and people that I follow, they do mention that, you know, having gratitude first and foremost for what you have right now at this moment, uh, whatever it is, just be grateful and um, feel that gratitude. Um, and he states, oh, the only thing that amplifies is what you put your mind on, right? So if you amplify, if you put your mind on gratitude, that will ma amplify and whatever it is that you're grateful for will keep on multiplying towards your way. Uh, very important. Number two, uh, he says, have some type of moment of silence, uh, stillness, meditation, whatever it may be, that that, that puts you in, in a moment where you're, you're with yourself, right? And you're at, at, at stillness. He calls it stillness, meaning, you know, also I use uh, working out, walking. It's other forms, but he says the importance of just sitting down, even if it's two minutes a day, sitting down in stillness and, you know, watching your thoughts, watching your, your mind go crazy uh, and just observing and really really feeling yourself um, having what it is that you you want to acquire having that emotion first and foremost while you're in stillness and kind of envisioning you can also do envisioning envision yourself having it just some type of sitting down with yourself in a moment um, that's number two and number three is also detaching from whatever it is that you want to accomplish um, and you know you move forward consistently with every day um, doing the best that you can and he says not even doing the best that you can just doing your you know just acting just taking action and detaching from the outcome detaching from having to have it because he says the more you you focus on that the less it comes to you um, you know we've heard that law of attraction law of you know, the secret we are a lot of other books that mention that so they do say focus on what you want as opposed to focusing on what you don't want but also he says if if you're eager to have something like if you want to have more money you need to detach from that like just really not think about it um and it's super super hard i, I can understand um when you actually lack and you need it um excuse me he states that's the that's the difference right there when you think that you're in lack although you may not be you won't be receiving it. Um, he says, even if you're in lack, just put your mind on abundance. Having that thought mindset of, I have everything I need right now, and things will multiply. Um, number four was also giving, you know, also being able to give, you know, and the, the fact that we, and that also correlates with detachment, right? When you're, when you're receiving now because you're, you're thinking abundance and you're having all this abundance coming to you, he says you have to share it, you have to give, you have to not hoard it because a lot, a lot of, oftentimes, a lot of us, um, the more we get, we know, we, we hoard it and we like, we're obviously we're happy, but we are scared to lose it. And as he says, that brings loss um, and also doesn't attract more. So the more you, the easier you let it flow because everything's about flowing in this, in this universe. Everything flows, everything is, 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 is in, you know, it's all we're flowing together. If it comes to you, you have to be able to give it back. Um, give, you know, share. It's not your time, money, you know, materials, whatever it is that you have, give it back, give it away. And um, that shows that you're also in gratitude, you know, and that also shows that you believe in abundance and you believe in the universe. Something that it takes practice. Uh, I've been trying to do that uh, the last couple of months. It has worked wonders. Um, just be able to freely give and detach from all these things that we hoard, you know, for example, clothes, shoes. Like materialistic stuff, you know, gadgets, um, money, right? Money is a big thing. So he states the more you, you the more giving you are, the more you're able to receive. Um, and um, those are the tips that I guess, you know, so far that I've picked up in how to accumulate and actually bring abundance into your world. Um, and I hope it helps you guys out. But um, let me know your thoughts. Um, and this is very, very, this is a very, very powerful, powerful, um, uh, practice and exercise on a daily basis where I think if you constantly practice and you do it on a daily basis you will see results and you just have to believe in them right so um see you guys later let me know what you guys think